Financial author Andrew Hallam began investing at 19 and was financially independent by his 40th birthday. Now that might be an extreme example, but the sooner you start investing, the more you benefit from the effects of compounding later on. Another important lesson that young investors need to learn is not to worry when market volatility strikes. When markets fall, young people should celebrate. I mean, this is what Warren Buffett says. It's much like a, a supermarket sale. And imagine buying perishable, non-perishable items like cans of beans in the supermarket. And imagine that you are buying them every single week. If cans of beans go on sale, we don't walk into the supermarket and freak out and say, wow, the cans of beans that I'm buying every week have just gone on sale, so I'm not gonna buy cans of beans this week. I'm afraid because the price is dropping. That sounds psychotic, but that's exactly how we react to stock market declines. And that's why if you're a net purchaser of stock market investments, especially if you have at least five years until your retirement date, if you're a net purchaser of stock market investments, you should actually celebrate when stock markets drop. You shouldn't be upset. Fear can be an expensive emotion, but so can greed. Andrew admits he made mistakes, particularly during the so-called dot-com boom of the late 1990s. A painful memory was selling a high-flying stock called Nortel and then changing his mind and buying it back. So I sold it on a Wednesday. I still remember this. And then on the weekend, I'm reading a newspaper and there was this really great article quoting a wide variety of experts who were saying that Nortel Network was going to see $200 a share before the end of the year. So I bought it back at $124 a share. No sooner did I buy it back than it began its spiral downhill. I think it got to about a dollar a share. I sold it on the way down at about $60 a share and so broke even. But wow, uh, did I ever learn my lesson? Investors should really avoid buying individual stocks altogether and invest in low-cost funds instead. Another tip, says Andrew, is to automate your investment process. So it becomes like, like a tax. So the investor isn't tempted to spend it because it disappears right away at the beginning of the month. And that allows people then to dollar cost average. So if they're investing money when they have it, as they have it, and it comes into their account, let's say an automatic withdrawal. So they'll set up for $100 a month to be withdrawn from the account automatically into a diversified portfolio or into an index fund. Um, it takes the sting out of it because they don't have to manually make that purchase. They don't have to manually take money that they would otherwise be tempted to spend. It just disappears like a tax and then it automatically goes towards building a foundation for their future. So start early, don't give in to fear or greed and automate your investment process. It's that sort of discipline that really pays off in the long term.